the return of one Donovan Mitchell back to Utah at 46. And uh, that video right there, he's 12, uh, 46 in his return, but the Cavs did end up losing the game. He had the second most points in their first game at their old team return. That is a stat that somebody figured out. Um, as far as the emotions in a return game, is it hard to manage? Are we are we being too romantic about it? Do players care? No, they care. And, you know, I had this in my career going back to Houston, which in, it's where you start, especially who drafts you. That's a special place. And that's those are people and staff and fans that you have a soft spot in your heart. Um, and you knew he was going to play well. I honestly, I thought the Cavs were going to dominate and win the game. Uh, the Jazz really showed me something last night. We'll get to that. But yeah, this is this is a special game. You, you know these guys. You know the system. You know that arena. Um, there's a lot of emotions in this. You get the video tribute. Um, you can say all you want how it's just another game and it's not this. But no, this is this is a really really special opportunity and a special game. And and guys always kind of if you, if you get traded in the off season, you sign with someone else. The first thing you do is circle that return game. And he played very, very well. Unfortunately, Utah just had a crazy comeback there at the end and, and won the game. But yeah, these games definitely mean more than just every other game. I love it. Luca had 43, he had 46. We're just so la da about it right now. Look, the Jazz had really, really hot start and they've been fun to watch. They're 20 and 22 right now, Eddie. Sitting 10th, so it's almost as if they're too good to tank. Would you agree? Yeah, I mean, you you... You, you watch this team and you completely understand why fans of other teams are looking at their chops hoping that they, they blow it up. You see somebody like Jordan Clarkson, you, you picture him on a contender closing the game out like he did last night. He scored nine straight points down the stretch. Uh, in, in you could see how he could be an explosive scorer off the bench. It's kind of a weird win. They had a seven-point possession when actually Clarkson got a flagrant on a three and then somebody was in his landing space and the whole thing. But... You look at them and you get it. Everybody's got Jared Vanderbilt in their fantasy trades that they're posting <laughs> on Twitter. And you get why. He's a big guy who's rangy, who can defend, and every once in a while I can hit three. Um, but I want to shout out my guy, Walker Kessler, who's averaging shout more out. blocks per game than Rudy Gobert, who had 11 <laughs> rebounds last night and who uh -huh. makes about $33 million less. He was traded for Rudy Gobert this summer. Do not forget. And they have not missed a step at the center position. I just want to shout him out. When you see him, you won't he looks let us exactly forget. like – Walker Kessler would look in your mind if you heard the name, but he's great. Like no, no, no BS. He's great in the middle and he's really helps their defense. And it, they got a piece in the future out of Rudy Gobert. I mean, and he got first. it in. He got, he got it in shops. He got his Rudy Gobert <laughs> slander in. He did it somehow. <laughs> it was easy. <laughs> they got Walker Kessler and four first round picks. Shout out Utah Jazz. I think when you look at this team though, like Lowry Markkinen and I guess Walker Kessler, like. Those are your two no-brainer untouchables, right? Like Larry Markin, borderline, definitely an all-star type of guy this year. Walker Kessler, what he's doing right now in limited minutes, averaging, I think, like 6'6 six, six and two blocks. I mean, it's big time what he's doing. Uh, Will Hardy's really coaching him hard right now. Uh, but everyone else, I think Jordan Clarkson, they definitely want to, I think, see if they can get an extension done with. But Larry Markin, Walker Kessler, um, you know, Agbaji, like th those are your, your young guys, um, you know, that you want to build around moving forward. Yeah, and the, the coach, Will Hardy, has done such a good job where these expectations were so low for these guys. And you can just tell going through training camp, let's just go to work, let's play the right way, let's play hard, let's play unselfish. And that's exactly what these guys are doing. And and are they too good to tank? It's it, They're not, but they're playing well enough where now it's just like, all right, let's go all in. Unless they make drastic moves at the deadline, which I can't see them doing. Yeah, now let's just go and let's keep building off this momentum. Let's have a great season. The fans are so into it. When you watch a jazz game, it's next level how excited and what a cool environment that is to play. But you, ha you have something here. You have these young talent. You have Laurie Markkinen, who's becoming an absolute stud. Jordan Clarkson's having a career year just dominating. Uh, they're, they're in kind of no man's land. We all know they're not going to win a championship this year. But sure, why not just keep riding this momentum and try and make some noise in the playoffs and, and have Laurie Markkinen be an all-star in Salt Lake this year? That will be fun. That will uh, be a good environment. One other thing, the, the Boyan Bogdanovich trade was very telling because they could have traded him for a pick and they go and get Kelly Olenek that, who can help them win now and provide culture and stability. They have seven first-round picks moving forward. They got <laughs> four from Minnesota. They have three from Cleveland. They have seconds. Like It's not like they're short on picks moving forward. They have their own picks as well. So 
I think like trying to move Jordan Clarkson for a first, like how much does that get you? I think Danny Ainge does see the value in what they're building right now, the culture that, that, that they're creating. Yeah, they're, in, they're in a good spot. Shams, don't listen to me. Your background is still tons better than Chandler's. Thank you as always. Enjoy the rest of the week. <laughs> when we come back, is it time to hit the panic button on the Trailblazers? Maybe. Run It Back returns next. <laughs> 